All right, here we have uh, five containers. It's got uh, marimo moss balls in it, which are a type of algae that naturally grow in like a little ball thing. And what we're doing is we uh, put different types of water with like different stuff in it. Like here we have with salt and we have uh, water from my aquarium. And what we're doing is we're seeing which type of water uh, makes the moss balls grow the most in the shortest amount of time. It was really nice like seeing what happened to the moss balls. We like find moss balls really interesting and like aquarium life and ocean life and just really interesting and science lets you explore those things. We're going to be playing different genres of music, three different genres we've chosen, mm -hmm. and see if it affects how they feel about it. Country, jazz, and heavy metal? Yeah. Just a, a nice wide range, just so we can have like two ends of the spectrum and then a, the middle, yeah. just to see how it affects them. They are very different. Yeah, they're very <laughs> different from each other. So one's slower paced, more one's more upbeat, and one's very aggressive. Yeah. yeah. OK. And so what's your theory? Um, that it will affect it 100%. Just I think the heavy metal will make them maybe more. Um, like on the aggressive side? Yeah, of things. more like angry or stressed. And then the jazz would make them more happy maybe okay. a bit sad and then the country would make them a bit happy. So the in these jars is just regular potting soil that you can find around your house. And then I have one type of biodegradable plastic bag in each of these. This is my control, so this is just a normal plastic bag. These are like the dog waste bags that you find at the dog park. These ones are from Nature's Fair and this one's from Costco. And so I am leaving these for five weeks and adding water every day. And I am going to see at the end, I'm gonna take them out and see how much they have biodegraded. I just want to see like, how easily do they decompose? Can I just throw them in my backyard in the dirt or do I have to do something more to get them to break down? The hands-on experience and seeing new things like whether we're using the Bunsen burners or we're playing with electricity and circuits, it's just fun to me. Um, most people know about the side effects of smoking, not much about vaping though. So we wanted to see which one was worse for you, smoking or vaping, because we know a bunch about smoking but not much about vaping. So I've done the research of smoking on how it affects every part of your body and like how it will affect you in the long term and the short term. And I've done that about vaping from what I can get at least, seeing how it can cause popcorn lung and things like that and how the chemicals in the vape juice are actually really bad for your body. Um, I've noticed that Science Honors goes more into depth with things, like they're more drawn out and you get to be in more detail. So I feel like that's a good thing for the learning is getting to go into detail with it and getting to learn more. Um, it can be visual, but also hands-on. Just like in Honors Science, we do a lot more experiments than regular science and like last year and I really enjoy that more. And I've always just had like a passion. I want to be a um, marine biologist uh, when in the future. And um, I have a couple aquariums at home. And I don't know, I just find like everything about science, like with biology, like seeing how like the mechanisms inside of a body work and with chemistry, how things react together and just everything about science is just something that I find very, very interesting and something I really care about.